hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's me again stephanie menadi you are in my kitchen for another time we're gonna have a great time today we're gonna make the famous haitian soup which is the pumpkin soup some people call it squash soup but the name in creole is soup jumu that we usually have every year for independence day on the january 1st but you can have it anytime you can have it like every sunday if you like it you can just have it like any day okay so this is all my ingredient as you can see i have all my ingredient lineup so this is my pumpkin and this one is the rigatoni macaroni i have spaghetti and as well i have turnip they call it nave and creole so i have carrots and the head of the cabbage is the whole cabbage right here and i have some sour orange to clean my meat and this is onions i have plantain and as well potatoes and this is kalian and i do have some celery so we're gonna use a bunch of celery but this is just to show you for now and this is thyme and parsley tomato paste this is haitian spice i do have a video of it on my channel black pepper maggot cube oil butter so you're gonna use all this to make your soup so this is the meat we're gonna start cleaning the meat first and let it cook and at the same time in the meantime we're gonna start prepping the veg vegetables so now if you want this is the cooked squash if you want you can um use this to give your soup more color because here in america most of the time the the pumpkin doesn't give you a nice um, yellow color as you know when you make a soup in haiti so now all this ingredient we're gonna go one by one this is my salt okay and i have my turnip my carrots cabbage and sour orange for my beef this is one one to two pound of beef okay some people use turkey meat to make the soup i i love it too my mom used to make it with the turkey meat sometimes with beef but i think i like the beef as well and uh, we're gonna start cleaning the meat okay just anything you see that's not good that's not looking good in your eyes you know first we have to eat with our with our eyes first <laughs> before we put anything in our mouth so after cleaning the meat with the, the orange remember before i cleaned the meat i had some sour oranges liquid and the white vinegar also salt on my meat and this is a water like a part of hot water that i boil with the scallion leaf and um the skin of the sour orange some lime and white vinegar in it too and salt so after you clean your meat you have to rinse your meat and you pour this hot water on your meat that will make your meat smell good and stop the blood from the meat so first we're gonna put the spice we're gonna marinate everything mix it very well and cook the meat and from there we're gonna start doing all uh, the prep so this is a seasoning like a spice okay i just uh, um add some black pepper and i'm adding some oil right now it's just a regular oil like canola oil all right and we're gonna add some water just a tiny bit because um, when the meat start cooking, you're gonna keep adding water more and more until your meat is very tender. So this is all base seasoning. 
if you are making this in Haiti, you go by my video. You don't have to put all those spice because the the spice that that you guys have in Haiti is very strong and tasty. So you don't have to. So I put some thyme on parsley, and some people they already put all the veggie together in it. So I don't do that. I cook my my meat. Okay, and right now. I am cutting my my um, pumpkin to let it cook. I will have like a a big pot of water with salt, okay, enough salt to to make the squash taste so tasty. So we will let it cook, and after that we're gonna smash it to to make a, a sauce. And we're gonna get the water that you boil the the pumpkin. You're gonna use the same water to, to uh, when you're smashing the squash you're gonna use the same water to make the sauce and so yes you're gonna use the same water that come from the the pumpkin when it was boiling you're gonna use the same water when you smashing the the pumpkin you're gonna have a nice puree with it and you're gonna strain it okay you're gonna strain it because there's a lot of shock in it okay because the squash i'm not gonna remove the skin i'm gonna leave the skin on and boil the squash just like that as it is and after it really really cook i'm gonna get a strainer and i'm gonna smash it with my spoons my wooden spoons and from time to time, I'm going to add the same water from this part right here. The same water that I'm going to use to make my puree. And after I got my puree, I'm going to check on my meat. I'm going to pour the puree um, pumpkin into the meat. And we're going to start adding the vegetables. All those stuff like the cabbage, the celery, the, the, the plantain, the potato. The carrots, everything will go in it. So this is the the whole head of the cabbage. You don't have to cut it like very small, okay? But you just need um, a lot of leaf cabbage in it. So this is a must for you to make your soup. You really need this ingredient to make your soup. And remember, when you smashing the the pumpkin, they will um you will have a lot of chunks. So that so that's why you have to use a strainer to strain it like twice to make sure there's no um, skin leaving it or any other um, chunks. So this is my celery. So I am cutting my celery. I rinse everything, and after that, I will rinse everything again for a second time. And when I'm ready, I'm gonna drop it onto the part of the sauce. So I like to add um, some some scallion, and this is the carrots. I'm gonna peel it and and cut it nice onto um, di diagonal style. All right. So and uh, we will have um, the turnip to put in it as well, and also we have to work on the plantain and as well the potato i mean this soup takes a little time but it's the best soup you can have and um like i like i said before you can have it anytime it doesn't have to be a specific days of the year like every independence um days you don't have to like me i usually uh, make my soup like most likely every Sunday if I'm at home All right So now this is the turnip and Haiti they call it nave So this is a moss. This is a moss in your soup. It's a little bit bitter <laughs> But it's it's good. It's really good and you need this in your soup. You cannot make a um, That that soup without it the same thing with the cabbage you need those two ingredients so it's really big so i'm gonna cut it like in in um, quarters 
stuff okay, okay so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel guys and if you haven't done that please do so as you can see the name is stephanie mina the kitchen you can just go and on the youtube and for stephanie minadi kitchen if you don't have the link or if you forget the link so you can search me just like that and you will find me okay so now we're gonna rinse everything like i said okay all right we're gonna rinse it with cold water give it a nice rinse so we're done with the vegetables now we're gonna um peel the plantain also the potatoes so this is my potato you can use a peeler or you can use your knife it's up to you so for me it's not a lot i'm just doing it um quicker with my knife so you can leave the potato just as, just as it is or you can cut it if it's really big and as well please do not put the potato at the same time when you're putting the veggie because the potato it's a it's like a flower there's a lot of starch in it so if you put the potato too early you will lose the sauce from the soup please some people they remove it like after it cooks please do not put the malanga and as well the potatoes early on your soup because it's gonna get all the liquid from your soup okay and then you need a lot of liquid on your soup okay so right now the meat is almost done i add a little bit of tomato paste okay and i will add some water after that and i will check as well on my pumpkin so it takes a, a lot of time to cook maybe about 25 minutes or more okay right now i'm adding more water and i will let it cook more and more so i am back with my malangra i just cut some malangra so you can use a fork to check on your pumpkin so you see how it's so soft that's mean it's ready all right and my meat it's ready as well all right and then we're gonna go from there we're gonna add some water okay not cold water but hot water and we're gonna cover it for a couple of minutes by the time that we're gonna smash the pumpkin to make the puree so this is my pumpkin as you can see with your eyes it's very very soft okay so this is the water that i was talking about this is the same water that from the pumpkin when it was boiling so this is what i do you see i have my my pot the same pot i'm gonna make it quicker that's my trick okay you don't have to do it that way and um i'm very comf comfortable with this one and then it's a lot of quicker so i just take one of the um pumpkin and I put it on my strainer and from time to time I add a little bit of the water in it to make it smoother don't worry after that we're gonna get all this water and then strain it to make sure that we don't have any skin or any shrunk okay but it's easy you don't have to 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 blend anything use a blender and no 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 as long if your pumpkin is cooked well done, you don't have to go through all this. All right, so I'm checking on my meat again to make a nice sauce and make sure that it's very tasty. Even though after that I pour the, the puree from the pumpkin and it, I will add more seasoning. But still, I have to check on my meat to make sure that it tastes really good already see now what i'm doing so i put everything on the strainer to make sure i don't have any chunk or nothing 
left any skin so i have my good 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 puree and then you can um pull some water from the from the other one that you were using to make sure you get all the juice from the pumpkin so you don't waste anything right now i am starting to add everything so this is the water so you see how you're boiling like a plantain or malangra you, you just put water in and you put the plantain so now that puree that i just get from my um pumpkin so the same puree i just add all my veggies you see i add more 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 i make sure that i get every juice so i will let everything here boiling we're almost done we almost done so let it boil and after that it is really good we're gonna pull the meat sauce in it my goodness guys look, look at that look at that everything start getting tender but make sure that you 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 didn't put your potato early and if you did make sure you remove it before you finish with your soup because otherwise it will get all your juice Ooh, look at that this is the same sauce from the meat the taste was so good so i added from the soup now we make this soup we just have to keep up with the taste to make sure that it tastes really good like it's supposed to so this is garlic powder i'm adding my seasoning now i'm gonna add some black pepper oh look at that and then if you need more salt i will add salt it's easy guys easy like i told you prep your veggie and then peel your potato and plantain and clean your meat um do your meat first the second um boiling your pumpkin with the skin on if you want and then, then if you don't want to that's fine that's your choice and then do not put the spaghetti do not put the spaghetti or the macaroni too early too those things are very fragile okay they can get all the juice from your soup and then you don't want this on your life you have to add those two things at the end of your soup when your soup it's almost done which is the macaroni and the spaghetti okay so now we put the sauce everything is good everything is so good we're just gonna let it reduce and taste more and more and then if we have to add something we will add it so thank you guys for watching this video how I, I hope you guys like it you can um, practice this video through the year until independence day next year if god willing thank you guys see you next time for another video bye